Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mide. Mide Way. Yes. Um, so that video you saw, that was a throwback. Yeah, so today we'll be going down memory lane. You know, it's Valentine's season, everybody's just thinking, reminiscing. A lot of throwback pictures are tagged, you know. And this just inspired this video. I just wanted to tell you guys how I started photographing. Yeah, I'll make it short. We'll build it. So, hmm, we're gonna start. We're gonna start. Um, so, I attended Common University, Open State, Nigeria, 2011 to 2015. For the first two years in Common University, I actually wasn't a photographer was until my third year, like mid into my third year, I had to pick up the camera. So, I got inspired by my friend. Funny enough, you know, the person that inspired me to become who I am today isn't a photographer. Fun fact. So I had a roommate in honor of his name was, or his name is Nicole, his name is a producer. And he actually used to use my laptop to make matches back then. He had a laptop and I felt a kind of way that I was actually useless. Or I was actually not making use of my laptop because I actually used my laptop only school and movies. Instead, I used to actually pick up the skill and Back then, I was really into taking pictures of myself because I actually used to dress good. So, in 200 level, I said editing pictures I took of myself, or pictures, pictures people took of me. Yeah. And um, you see this, like, when I see pictures, I'm just laughing. I was just actually do a lot of color correction and Picasa. Picasa, if you know, you know, you're an OG. Yes. So, because I have I always just edit pictures and post on social media and you know, pull my watermark or logo called the Midday's Handwork because it was actually my handwork, you know. Um, yeah, that was my turn, brother. Going back home for summer, my mom was like, Ah, are you Midday? Ola, 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 just to promote side also because my structure and also then so they actually didn't have their mom to say you know, you have to pick up something that's uh let me show you to learn a bit yeah and uh, she, she was really surprised at the kids she was expecting something like fashion design to get and i picked up um a bit not photography that's that so my sister enrolled, my mom enrolled me to um children national photography school I actually went there to learn editing on the program. I will still say that. I was only one editing, a learning editing as at my time. Yeah, that was 2013. And it was like a one month, a six weeks course here. And in the photography class, I was using that model because um, I was only one non learning program. I liked it because I love being in front of the camera. And yeah, he actually gave up. I was actually doing social media back then. Well, um, so I actually met someone called Austin, aka Nero. Um, we had um, something in common. We were common investing students. We were common investing students in academia at that time. And we were like, oh, we'll go back to school. We should actually do something together. And we want that, that's what gave birth to MVP. Austin photography. I'm sure a lot of you know that it's the last of two months. Yeah, so the plan was Nero would get back to school. Nero already had a camera. Nero was going to be a photographer and I would be a editor. So we take pictures, I would even take pictures and I would edit it. But we did it tears. Well, it didn't work out because we actually have a lot, we have a lot of um, challenges. You know, different level, it was a different style, different college. So meeting up was actually Take to for a guest to me. So we actually just struck that and I felt bad. Like you were the one stars of the day. I continued taking just my watch, my iPad today. And my mom, my style was like, oh, you are the new camera. Shout out to my missus. I really she got my first camera back then, like very early. Wow, I was really happy at all. Then um, then I would use my classmates after class, after chapel to take just to experiment, try to get hand with my camera. I was really scared though, 
watch more yesterday. I was like, there's no need. I was actually running away from it because I really didn't know much about the photography back then. Because I went to call it the academy to learn photo editing. Photo editing. Yes. And I didn't, I didn't really know much about photography. So, uh, getting the camera was scary. So, I actually used part of knowledge I gained from always being a model photography class in social life, Marshall. And also, used to boost up my knowledge. And I picked up the camera and sent pictures to my colleagues back then, all my friends. Shout out to them Ada, Anita, Timmy, you got the so for yeah, you got the so Then, fast forward to some months later, I got my best friend, my boy, best brothers, Eva. Hola, I'm Hola, Hola. Gave me to five for that session. I will never forget. Yo, yo, it was a big deal. And I gave them lots of pictures for that amount because it really felt encouraging that some people would pay me money to take pictures of them. Because prior to then, I would just take pictures for free. I take pictures at chapel. Yeah, after after chapel every Sunday, I would just go out, take pictures for free, just of my friends. People said, I knew my name became popular. Yeah, fashion oriented school. Every Sunday, we would walk back from me. Yeah, that's why a few months later again, um, I heard about this competition and teamed up with like these guys back then. Leave me alone there. I did not really have to do it and I want to play with the So I entered into the Ferris original competition as a secret project. <sighs> yes, the secret project. That actually gave me something back then. Oh, I was going to be so it. Yes. So we entered into the very original competition in 2014. Out of like 5,000 entries, we made it to the top 10 that went to a new group for a competition. George Pye, I remember George and Matt, Flo, Elegia, and Yeah, it was a big deal. We came out top 5, I can't remember our position, but we came out top 5. I, would, I, feel, I really feel and felt uh, pumped about it because I didn't expect us to get there because we we're all just as in our craft as at then. Yeah, so it was it. Um, designer, model, makeup artist, and photographer teaming up to create content. Yeah, so that was it. Um, that was the summer of me going to Formula level. Getting back to Formula level, everybody was like, oh, me, we, me, we, we, like, ah, yeah, me, we, me. <laughs> yes, I got into the papers right away. That made my mom proud because of that competition. Um, yeah, so I got back to square, but like, me, we, like, I was just switching down to create content. So proud to. I kind of always just take pictures at the chapel. That was it. And to be honest, I didn't see this thing as an occupation. I just saw it as an hobby that would set me one or two cash. You get it. Let's back to scrap technique for that country. Everyone wanted to work with me, create beauty content. Yeah. And I seemed to be two amazing individuals. Offre and Muiwa. Those guys actually had a back back there. My reflector with that, my life with that. These guys actually push me up to go out to create stuff every weekend. Yeah, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. And thank you guys for push back then. Yeah, so they used to actually uh, pump me up to push it. every weekend. Saturday and Sunday, we go out to create. I remember we walked to Arara, beautiful Arara, yes. We walked to Bunu. Yeah, Bunu is my guy. My G. Anytime you see me, give me X. Bunu, you know something's coming up your way. Yes. And it was really a very interesting period in my life, my final year. That that would say that would be like one of the most interesting years ever for me because I was actually just like Monday to Friday school, Saturday to Sunday, I know I'm creating content. Every weekend people they were just waiting on Instagram to see pictures that video would drop. So yeah, so it was really like a routine for me and oh it's been a journey man. Like I actually went through some of my files and I saw some old videos that I would love to share with you guys. And you guys can Let's see how far I've come. Yeah. I also want to say shout out to my Peters and Fifo and Nero. Those guys actually push pushed me to they also give me knowledge that I would actually look for back then because these guys started before me and I was a baby. You get the ball. Yeah, we're all doing great things right now. And I'm happy. How far we've come? How far we've gone? First, I get to emotional right now. Let me show you guys some videos and pictures back then. Let's go. 
My name is Midewe, and I'm Uiwa. Why are the phone bad guy the mad? Wait up. be your name, this guy. I'm Midewe, the photographer. And I'm Uiwa, the assistant. And I'm Naomi, the PhD, the assistant the photographer. See <laughs> <laughs> Midewe, man. Right. Baby, I'm sad, you. Baby, I'm sad, you. Oh Lord, Father, provide me a private jet. Amen. I don't want to start with a car, I want to start with a private jet. Amen. Kudu. Say cheese. Cheese.